Hi friends. I'm not with you in person today because it's my son's birthday and we're celebrating. So I'm in my backyard now and I wanted to share with you a little bit about today's Sunday School story. Now we've been learning about King Saul and David and now we're going to learn, we're going to skip ahead a little bit and learn about a new person, Solomon. So King Saul died and David became king. And then when David got old and died, his son Solomon became king. And as Solomon became king, God came to him in a dream. Solomon was sleeping and God showed up and said, Solomon, what would you like? What can I give you as you become king? Can you imagine? I wonder what you would say if God asked you what you would like. Solomon did not say a new toy or, of course he didn't say a car because they didn't have cars back then. He didn't say power. He didn't say, I want to be king forever. He didn't say, I want to be the most popular king. He didn't say any of that. He asked God for wisdom. And I think Solomon already had a little bit of wisdom to choose that answer. Now, wisdom is a little bit different from just being smart or intelligent. I mean, we're all smart, intelligent. We can all understand things and figure things out and make decisions like that. But wisdom is so much more. Wisdom, when you're wise, you don't just think of your own needs. You see a bigger picture and you think of the needs of others and the needs of the world. When you're wise, you don't just think about what you need right here, right now. When you're making decisions, you think about the future as well. Again, a bigger picture. When you're wise, you have compassion for others. You think of others, not just yourself. And when you're wise, you ask God to guide you. So when you're wise and you have a decision to make, you pray and you listen for God and you trust God and you follow God. And that's what so Solomon asked for, and it's the blessing that God gave him. So Solomon ended up being a very wise king. And he's known, thousands of years later, he's known as a wise king, a king with wisdom. Now, here's an example. Years and years ago, some very, very smart people invented plastic. You know what plastic is, right? Plastic is everywhere. You can get your salad in a plastic container. Toys are made out of plastic. Plastic is all over the place and we've had some really great things made out of plastic. But what we're finding out now is that once we're done using plastic, a lot of it ends up in our oceans and it's harming our sea life. And eventually it will hurt us too if we don't do something about it. So right now we need wisdom to figure out what to do about this problem of plastic. So that's an example because there's intelligence and there's wisdom. And I think Solomon had both. So we are about to have an election and the grown-ups will hopefully go out and vote. But I'm really hoping and praying that before they vote, they ask God for wisdom to choose the best leaders who will be compassionate, who will think of others, especially people who need God's help the most and our help the most. They will think of the future, not just right here, right now and they will be wise like Solomon. And I hope and pray that the leaders that are chosen will also be wise, will seek God's guidance and, and try to follow God and what God wants for God's people and for God's world here on earth. 
So let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you for making us smart and for the gift of wisdom. Help us choose wise leaders who will care about others, who will think of others when they make decisions, who will care about the future, and who will listen and follow you. Let us have fun in Sunday school and let us be wise as well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I will see you next week.